So we're on the island of Shetland today, come up to see uh, 1.2 billion pounds worth of projects that are just drawing to conclusion and completion, which is the Viking wind farm, which will be the most productive wind farm in the UK. And also then the Shetland link, 260 kilometer link. This is uh, the first time ever that uh, the Shetland energy system has been connected to the mainland system. I think they're hugely significant. They've, they've been delivered pretty much on time, on budget. They're indicative of the things we're doing. Subsea cables, we're going to be doing more of those. It's the second big subsea cable we've put in over, uh, over the last decade, uh, and the fact that's working. It's also the first multi-node HVDC system outside of China, anywhere in the world, which is fantastic. And you've got, on, on the island of Shetland itself, it's got a huge wind resource. You've got a lot of wind resource in Scotland. So um, this is definitely one of, the, uh, one of the better wind farms uh, for us to have built uh, to deliver power to up to half a million homes um, you know, and, and is hopefully a starting point for uh, more infrastructure up here and also potentially offshore wind farms uh, up here as well. The teams up here have done a fantastic job. I've met some of them, uh, doing three or four visits that, that, that I've done. It's been great to see the effort they've put in. Obviously, they've worked through all sorts of, uh, all sorts of weather. So it's been a fantastic effort. So everybody can be hugely proud of the contribution um, that they're made. And look, it, it's, um, it's hopefully a good example to other people. We've got lots more projects over the, over the next decade. We'll be spending even more money on projects like these. So it's, uh, it's hopefully a great training for some of those people who come through and they'll move on to new things. And it's a great inspiration for other people and other projects that we're gonna build uh, up and down the UK and in Scotland.